Okay guys, so we are back for another Toddy Walnuts collection overview video, as I promised. Today I'm going to be going over my 88 films, DVDs, and Blu-ray collection. To date, I have 111 titles. I'm still waiting for Anthropophagus, the reissue, to arrive. But until then, um, I will show that in a separate video once that does arrive. But let's get right into this here. I am debating whether or not I should leave the light on or just leave my flash. There's a bit of a glare with this light on. That's what it looks like without the light. And I'm just going to try to keep the light on just to make the video a little bit better and brighter for you guys to see. But we'll just go through this one by one. I've never really done a shelf by shelf overview before. but. I do love watching those. Those are some of my favorite videos to watch here on YouTube. Um, still waiting. I have to order some more shelving units, and I'm going to get all my stuff out of totes eventually. I'm just kind of playing around with the idea of leaving my 88 films on these two shelves here, or maybe getting a different shelving unit and dedicating a certain shelving unit just for my 88 films for the uh, future releases, because there's not very much room left here in this little area. Um, okay, enough of the babbling and the killing time here. Let's get right into this here with the first 14 editions are DVDs that were put out by Full Moon that 88 licensed in the UK. And number one is Cannibal Woman, Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. The next one here, Spine 2, is The Day Time Ended. These are cheesy kind of drive-in style films, but what do you expect from Full Moon? These are fun films though. I, they're low buck. Um, Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity is number three. Number four is Creepozoids, which has also been re-released as a Blu-ray. The next one is Dr. Alien starring the very sexy Judy Landers. Okay, I gotta learn to focus on my screen instead of the DVDs. The next one is another creature feature drive-in film called Seed People. Number seven is Beach Babes from Beyond. Number eight is Mandroid. If there are any films that you see in this video that you would like to see more in depth, just comment down below and I can show you the reversible cover or whatever. Number nine is Laser Blast. Number 10 is Amazonia, the Catherine Miles story. Fun little cannibal jungle type film. The next one, number 11, is Beach Babes 2, Cave Girl Island, Primitive Paradise. Number 12 is Shadow Zone, and this was the last one that I picked up in the DVD line. I have still yet to open that one and watch it. Number 13 is The Creeps, which recently has a Blu-ray release in the U.S. from Full Moon. And finally, number 14 is Hideous. So now this next little portion of films are the Slasher Classics Collection. And so far they have 28 titles released. I'm going to show you all 28. We're going to go through these right now. Since there are 111 titles for me to show, I'm not going to dwell too much on any particular movie. If you want more info, or like I said, if you want to see like the insides, the insert or booklet or reversible cover, just comment down below and I can do that in a future video for you guys. So let's get into the Slasher Classics Collection from 1981. And Spine 1 is Graduation Day, which also comes with the documentary Scream Queens. Horror Heroines Exposed. Really nice addition. Number two is Mother's Day from 1980. Number three from 1981, a personal favorite of mine, is Don't Go in the Woods. 
number four. Let's see if I can get in here a little closer. Maybe that'll be better. Number four is from 1984. That is Splatter University. Number five from 1987 is Slaughterhouse. This is another fun little drive-in madman style movie. Buddy has an axe to grind, a big axe. Number six from 1988 is Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Number seven from 1985 is Nail Gun Massacre, which also has a release from Code Red. Number eight from 1987 is Dead of Winter, which I have not seen this film yet. I keep meaning to pop that in, but I just haven't watched it. Number nine from 1981 is Hospital Massacre. That's a pretty cool cover. Number 10 is The Boogeyman from 1980. Number 11 is Blood Sucking Pharaohs in Pittsburgh. I still have yet to watch that one as well. Number 12 from 1981 is Nightmares in a Damaged Brain from the company that brought you The Hills Have Eyes. And then 13, 14, and 15 are the Children of the Corn trilogy. And those films came out in 1984, 1992, and 1995, respectively. So let me slide that one back in there. Okay, where are we at? 16 from 1988 is Scarecrows. I enjoy this film. I think this is pretty fun. And number 17 is Sleepaway Camp 2, and this is the alternate title, Nightmare Vacation 2, from 1988. And from 1989 is Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland. Part 1 is the best, but Part 2 and 3 are pretty fun as well. Okay, now we are at number 19, and this is Scalps. I really enjoy this movie. Native American folklore horror gone wrong. Number 20 from 1977, Drive-In Massacre. Number 21 from 1983 is Prozzi. I still have yet to watch this one. It's still sealed. Number 22 from 1990 is The First Power. This also has a release from Scorpion releasing in the U.S. on Blu-ray, which I do own that one as well. And this is when the slip covers started to come into play with number 23 here from 1989. This is Intruder. Really nice addition. Love that slip cover. I love that art, the newly commissioned art that 88 Films has. Number 24 is a very campy, cheesy film, Mo Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Not the greatest film, but it's still fun for what it is. Number 25 from 1987 is Return to Horror High, and I don't think this one came with a slipcover. I didn't get one. I don't think it came with one. And also number 26 from 1988 is Hide and Go Shriek. I don't believe this one was released with a slipcover either. But then back to number 27... Just Before Dawn, really good movie. Comes with the slip cover and a newly commissioned art there on the cover. And then finally for the Slasher Classics collection is Happy Hell Night, number 28 from 1992. So I'm going to take a break here for a second. And when I come back, we're going to get into the Italian line. So be right back. Okay, so we are back now with the Italian collection. And the first one here, spine number one from 1975, is Don't Ride on the Late Night Trains. Spine number two from 1978 is The Bloodstained Shadow. Spine number three from 1974 is Spasmo. I know that uh, Kino in the U.S. released that one on Blu-ray. Here's a good little kind of a Rambo ripoff. This is Blast Fighter from 1984. And then this was the first Italian 
collection movie to get released with a slip cover and this is zombie holocaust number five and number six is a blade in the dark giallo film from lamberto baba son of mario here is the first edition of anthropophagus the grim reaper aka the savage island by joe diamato that 88 put out they have since re-released this with a better transfer I'm still waiting to get mine in the mail. That's number seven from 1980, by the way. Number eight from 1977 is Hitchhike. Number nine also came with a slipcover. This is Zombie 3. Number 10 from 1976 is the SS Experiment Camp. Number 11 from 1976 also is Live Like a Cop, Die Like a Man. It's a Polizio Tesci, Italian crime, Euro crime movie from Diodato. Number 12, uh, I got a separate, uh, extra slipcase on that one. This is Deep River Savages, another cannibal film. And for some reason, uh, 88 film sent me two slip covers. I think there was something wrong with the original slip cover that came out, but I I couldn't find anything wrong with mine. So if anybody out there needs a uh, slip cover for Deep River Savages, comment down below or get at me somehow and I'll, I'll hook you up. The next one here is number 13 from 1977. This is Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals, another Joe D'Amato film. Number 14 from 1981 pretty good um, zombie flick here this is burial ground I have this edition or this movie several different editions of it number 15 from 1980 is alien 2 on earth very low buck alien ripoff still fun though I enjoyed it and number 16 from 1977 is mad dog killer another Polizio Tesci film Sorry about that. I had to switch hands, guys. The next one, number 17, is The Cynic, The Rat, and the Fist. A film by Umberto Lenzi. Number 18 is Hands of Steel, which was also released by Code Red in the U.S. on Blu-ray. Number 19 is Seven Deaths in the Cat's Eye by Antonio Margaretti. And number 20 is Absurd, starring the great George Eastman. And number 21, another Giallo film from 1971, is Short Night of Glass Dolls, filmed by Aldo Lado. And number 22 here is Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. Still have yet to watch this one. Sounds cool, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, number 23 is Enigma. Number 24 is Buo Omega, which is also called Beyond the Darkness. Another Joe D'Amato film. And my movies are falling over here, so bear with me just for a second. This is my first shelf by shelf, so I'm going to have a couple errors. I apologize about that. Okay, where were we? We were on... Okay, we were on this one here. This one is uh, Tomas Milian in Syndicate Sadists. And that is number 25. And then number 26 is 2019, After the Fall of New York. And 27 is Iron Master, kind of a Conan clone or ripoff. And then we have Amok, which I have yet to see that one. And then we have Delirium, starring the very robust, curvy Serena Grandi. Okay, there we go to 
Let's see, we're at this one here. This is the Perfume of the Lady in Black. And that was number 30. Number 31 is Body Puzzle. Number 32 is Cold-Blooded Beast. Number 33 is The Long Hair of Death. And number 34, and the last Italian title, is Touch of Death. Okay, another quick little break. And to round off the first shelf, this is a title that doesn't have 88 films on the spine. It's the only title so far out of all the ones that I've shown that doesn't show 88 films on the spine, but this is an 88 films release. You can see that right down there, right where my finger is. And this is a Spanish horror film called The Spanish Chainsaw Massacre, and it comes with this nice, awesome slip cover. It doesn't have a Blu-ray release yet, so I was very happy just to get the DVD release. Hopefully 88 will release that on Blu-ray at some point. And then I have some Ted Michaels, Ted V. Michaels movies. Um, Ted Michaels passed away in 2016. This one here is called, they released four volumes. This is volume one called The Doll Squad. Number two is The Corpse Grinders, and these covers are awesome. Number three is Blood Orgy of the She-Devils. That's a title for you right there. If that doesn't draw you in and want you to buy it, I don't know what movie you're going to buy, but maybe it's The Girl in the Gold Boots, because that's number four. So we will go down here now to the Asia collection. Pull up a chair here and try to make myself comfortable so I don't rush through this too fast. But uh, let me see if I can move some of these down. Otherwise, I'm going to have movies falling all over. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. <clears throat> so, so far to date, they have released nine titles for the Asia collection. And the first one is Hex. Second one is Black Magic. Third one is Five Element Ninjas. Then the next one here is House of Traps. That's number four. Seating of a Ghost, number five. The Mighty Peking Man, that is number six. Killer Constable, Killer Constable, number seven. I don't know why I said it like that. And number eight is Masked Avengers. And number nine, and probably my favorite title of the Asia collection, is The Oily Maniac. So I'm very glad to pick those up. Looking forward to the next ones that they put out for the Asia collection. Now these next two are from the Vault collection. And the first one here is Spine One. And it's a film from 1970, drive-in movie called I Drink Your Blood. And then they released Spine 4, Creepazoids, which they also had the DVD of that one that I showed earlier. And um, curious enough that the DVD edition was number 4 and the Blu-ray edition is number 4. But they never did release I Drink Your Blood previously, so I don't know if they're going to continue with the same numbers or even the same movies. Now the next, the rest of the movies I'm going to show from this uh, 88 films are just kind of standalone editions. They're really no, they're not part of any collection, but they do have some nice slipcovers on some of these. That's Frogs, comes with this black case. 
creature feature. Then we have Toxic Avenger 2. Beautiful slip cover with this green case. And the Toxic Avenger Steelbook Limited Edition. Outstanding. A movie I haven't seen in many years since VHS. This is Dead Heat, starring Joe Piscopo. Comes in this nice slip cover with a black case. We have Blood Sucking Freaks, the Uncut Collector's Edition. Check out this artwork here. I'm going to pop this out really quick. Look at that. Unbelievable. Next one is Creep Show 2. Very fun little horror anthology. Next one is The Dead Next Door. Comes with this black case and a slip cover. And we have Prison, which was also released by Scream Factory in the US, I believe. Now the rest of these do not have slip covers. First one here is Messenger of Death, starring Charles Bronson. The next one is The Suckling. And we have Flesh Eating Mothers. I watched that and I can't remember what it was about. It was pretty, pretty bland. The next one here is called Bloody Birthday. Killer Kids movie. Clint Howard and Evil Speak, which was also released by Code Red. And we have American Ninja, the Ultimate Collection, one through four. You get uh, American Ninja, then you get Part 2, The Confrontation, Part 3, Blood Hunt, and Part 4, The Annihilation. Another title here, The Devonsville Terror, starring Donald Pleasance, Black Case. Another movie that Scream Factory released, this is called Ghost Town, comes in the Black Case. This is River of Death. And we have Lurking Fear, which I believe was released in the US by Kino. This is an HP Lovecraft adaptation. And last but not least is Pam Greer in Friday Foster. I like that yellow and black combo. I like the way that pops. So I'll do a quick overview of all the films that I talked about or showed in this video. If there's anything you'd like to know about any of these films or if you'd like to see any more about them, just comment down below. Let me know how you liked the video and if you'd like to see more shelf by shelf in the future. If so, give it a thumbs up. That always helps me to let me know. And stay tuned because the next video I will be showing will be the Shameless Entertainment Collection. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I will see you next time. Later.